yes and welcome back to another video and in today's video I'll be giving you guys a tutorial on the Airblade ability from my avatar series uh, from more specifically the air element currently I have four other tutorials out as well as like seven other showcases or something like that so yeah there's a link to the uh, the playlist in the description and uh, just being just to say it right um, the other tutorials are compatible with this one so you can have multiple abilities with different items and stuff like that so it's very cool but yeah let's get straight into the tutorial so firstly we can just showcase kind of like off the ability real quick if I hit this uh, hit this villager real quick as you can see he's gonna get fling up in the air pretty cool as well as for example if I hit a wall like this one right here it's gonna kind of like splash air outwards to the sides as you can see right there pretty nice as well as you have this cool uh, animation whilst you're using this ability. So as you can see right there, my hands kind of went forward like that. So yeah, pretty cool. Then for before we kind of begin looking into these commands, you have to add some scoreboards. And the first one is Air BB dummy. Press enter and you're good. Next one is Air BC and then fling. And you know, I know the names are kind of weird, but that's just what I had a mess. So yeah. First, we can start off here with 20 ticks. You just do this, and you're pretty much good to go. This is basically what ticks the counter down. And 20 ticks is one second. Here we have the title raw. So when you use the ability, you can see the timer go, going down and all that when you hold the item. And something to keep in mind, as you can see here, it says data equals to 100. So to get this item, you have to do slash give at S. Was it white candle? uh underscore candle right and then you type one and then space 100 and now you have the item that you need to uh, for this to actually work but yeah basically copy this and you're good to go next up here we have this this is basically just says when it's ready as you can see right here it says ready and when i use this it's gonna get the countdown which is this one right here and then this is the ready pretty nice and then now for actually kind of the main system and it might look a little bit like uh, a little bit like menacing like how big it is but most of these are just particles so it's actually very simple so uh, yeah start off here this summons the armor stand that is gonna do all the cool stuff then here uh, this just lines the alarm stand up so it goes the right direction that you're facing uh, here's the sound effect and here's the uh, animation your character is doing and here is the cooldown so you can adjust this to more than nine seconds cooldown uh, whatever you know 20 seconds if you want but i put it to nine because i thought it kind of fit yeah just i just thought that kind of fit you know and here we have the tp there we have some particle effects i'm gonna go through these pretty quickly here so you gotta pause the video to type them down as well as uh, I think I am going to add a, a world file in my discord so just look out for that um, but yeah these are just pretty much particles in different kind of locations so these are quite similar a little bit different so that's why I'm kind of going through these pretty quickly because uh, you don't really need that much of an explanation these are just particles and yeah this one I can actually give a, a quick explanation this is basically when it hits a wall it will do this particle same here same right and this one kills the armor stand this one here uh, adds so sort of like it kind of despawns if it doesn't hit anything it's going to slowly let me just mark this if i just don't hit anything it's going to slowly just it's just going to despawn after a while like this and this is very important so the world doesn't induce more lag because if there's an entity constantly going around doing this and there's going to be multiple of them it's going to start lagging after a while so and here it kills the uh the arm stand here's some more particles you know as usual and now we're pretty much almost done with all the particles here boom and we're done with all the particles this right here is for the flinging of the entity so uh, as i just showed you guys previously if i hit an entity with uh, entity with this it's gonna get fling into the air like that and that's basically this thing right here or that's gonna uh, activate it and then over here we have the actual commands so, uh, commands and here we have some uh, just so it actually falls down if you use it up here as you can see it's gonna fall down to the ground 
Um, so you can choose to not have that if you don't want it to actually fall downwards. And here are the sound effects. This is actually mandatory or not mandatory, but you should have the sound effects and have it as a two tick delay. And here for the actual flinging of the entity, as you can see, it gives you levitation 80, but then it clears it very quickly. So it actually uh, looks more natural, you know, that you actually are getting flinged up. And here's some of the particle effects, as you can see. And this one resets, or no, this one adds uh, to, the, to the score. So it can actually go through all this. And the, this one right here resets the fling score. <laughs> and here's for the attack damage. I put it to one attack damage because the full damage is gonna do a lot of damage anyways. So I put it to one attack damage even when it actually hits the entity. So yeah, and here's for the invisibility of the armor stand. And now you're pretty much done. Hope you guys enjoyed this. As I said, please join my Discord, subscribe, and hit that like button. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.